it's another year it is 2023 this is my annual blu-ray collection video where i go over all the blu-rays i have in my collection i'm going to quickly go over a few dvds that i have as well so let's go so here are some queen dvds that i have i have quite a bunch because obviously i'm quite a big queen fan here we have queen Mo rock Montreal and live aid queen days of our lives queen nights at the odeon on dvd the freddie mercury tribute concerts freddie mercury the great pretender the making of night at the opera hungarian rhapsody then we've got queen greatest video hits one greatest video hits two queen live at the bowl freddie mercury video collection queen live at wembley stadium made in heaven the films so that's really all my queen collection dvds that i have i also thought i'd show some dvd box sets that i got from my, my dad because my mom and dad got rid of a bunch of their like dvds a few weeks ago and most of them i didn't really care about but some of them i wanted to keep for myself because they're not available on blu-ray yet we've got the office season one and the office season two still haven't watched this show yet it's on bbc iplayer but now i have a physical copy of these two seasons and then finally we've got this big bulky lord of the rings extended edition dvd box set as you will see later in this video i've got lord of the rings on 4k but it doesn't include the appendices which this set does. I want to show you the digipack stuff they got inside because it's really well done. Pull it out here and you got Fellowship of the Ring. Very nice. Very nice. And then you take out this. And then you got a nice digipack with like artwork. Fold it out. It folds out a lot as well. This is in great condition as well. And then you got all the discs in it and a booklet. And you got all like artwork behind the discs. It's a really nice set. And it's like that for the rest of the films in the collection as well. It's such a nice set. So let's get started with the actual Blu-rays. So first I want to always show off at the start is Queen Rock Montreal on Blu-ray. Obviously I had it on DVD back there. Again, it's part of my Queen collection. I don't really count it as my Blu-ray collection. I count it more as my Queen collection. But then here we have the Bohemian Rhapsody Steelbook. I've showed this off many times before. Again, part of my Queen collection. It's a pretty nice Steelbook. Nice slip cover there. And they got the Steelbook. Very nice. It's not really embossed or anything, which is a bit disappointing. But And then inside, artwork here and then you got the discs and then i thought i'd show off the hobbit trilogy i brought this like a few years ago and when the 4ks came out i wanted to sell them and then i realized that the appendices are not on the 4k editions so we've got an unexpected journey on blu-ray very nice lenticular cover as well nice artwork and then the inside you got a whole bunch of discs in there i'm still debating whether to get the hobbit on 4k obviously i prefer like fan edits of the hobbit other than the actual thing because i just feel it's way too long here's a like wrap around that goes around it the hobbit it's really the same and then battle of the five armies another nice lenticular so next i have the terminator nothing special just one disc terminated 2 remastered 2017 version which is not the best then i got final destination which is a pretty goofy cheesy 90s film i had a good time with that it also comes with a dvd which i'm probably never going to use we got watchman the two disc director's cut i kind of want to get it on 4k but it's the ultimate edition on 4k which is supposed to be like an inferior cut to the director's cut i do really like the artwork on these discs and i've got bowfinger on blu-ray a really great eddie murphy film steve martin as well very fun film i'm really annoyed that this doesn't include subs but then we got paul on blu-ray Blu-ray. I still haven't watched it on Blu-ray yet, but I watched it on Netflix a few years back. I had a really great time with it. It's a very guilty pleasure film for me. Seth Rogen. Um... Another guilty pleasure film for me. Ted. Seth MacFarlane, obviously. Um... 40 Year Old Virgin, the extended edition. Iconic comedy film with Steve Carell. Really like Steve Carell. Obviously, with Judd Apatow, you know what you're getting with like a proper long comedy film. But I think it really works with this film. Anchorman, I only recently watched this. I think I watched it like last week. I had a really fun time with this film. It's very satirical. I really like the comedy of this film. Will Ferrell does a great job. Anchorman 2, this is a very like divisive film. I think it's a pretty good follow up. I really did enjoy it. I watched the alternate version, which is like half an hour longer. It's like a two and a half hour version of the film, which which is extremely long for a comedy film, but I think it actually works really well. The pacing is surprisingly not awful. I don't think it lacks that same humour as the first, but still a pretty enjoyable time nonetheless. Then we've got The Hangover, the extended cut. Another really great comedy, very fun. Then I got Superman, the movie extended cut and the special edition. I literally just sold this morning my Superman box set with all five films in them because I was going to buy Superman 2 on 4K when it comes out and I, d I didn't really want any of the Superman films. I just wanted the first Superman film and Superman 2. I might get the theatrical cut on 4K as well. Then we have 
have Ace and Troy When Nature Calls and Pet Detective. Two comedy classics with Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey is one of my favourite actors. I just I just love Jim Carrey. Very fun. The plastic is like ripped off on this Amaray case, which is kind of annoying, but it's fine. I do really want to rewatch these films because they're just such fun films. Then we have My Hero Academia season one to three. Really enjoyed this show. This is like the first anime that I've watched. I really do want to get into more anime. This is a really good collection. It has all three seasons in it. Very nice. They've got really great artwork on the discs. Very nice. I don't really want to get season four and five on Blu-ray because I haven't heard really good things about them. I heard the show goes downhill from season four. But I've got two heroes on Blu-ray as well. I decided to buy this on Blu-ray because this is the film in between seasons two and three, I think. Um, it's all right. <laughs> Right, onto the 4K territory and, and like big box sets. We've got the Back to the Future trilogy on 4K. Love this trilogy, one of my favourite trilogies of all time. I have so much nostalgia for this trilogy. I need to watch this on 4K because I haven't watched it on 4K yet. Yeah, it comes in a nice like digi pack which opens. You have all the discs there. Then you got Predator Collection, three movie sets on 4K. I had a lot of fun with the first film. Predator 2, it's not that great, but it is pretty goofy and fun. Predators, I'm not the biggest fan of, but I have them on 4K, very nice. It comes with digital codes as well, which I already put in. And then we have the Alien Anthology, which is just amazing collection. Such a great box set, it's very nice. It comes out in a really nice digi pack like this, and the, um, ah! it just keeps on going. I don't want to break something. Oh God. Ah! It go it goes out so much. It's got all these discs inside. I don't I don't want to. Ah, really big fan of these films. I do really want to watch one and two, three. I do think it has an interesting direction, but I don't really like how they retconned a lot of the the last film. And then Alien Resurrection is pretty weird. But overall, some really great films. I do really want them to release these films in 4K. Then we have one of the most recent pickups that I got in my collection. We got uh, Lord of the Rings trilogy on 4K. Obviously an iconic trilogy. Haven't watched these in like four years now I think. I need to get on these. It's such an iconic trilogy. So great. Peter Jackson obviously an amazing director. Here's the wraparound that it comes with. And then got the 4K and then you got the 4K discs of the extended editions and the theatrical cuts which I like. Yeah just a bunch of discs. Obviously it's not as good as the DVD set. The DVD set is just beautiful. This is just in like an Amaray case but it's it's okay. Then we have James Cameron's Avatar. I really don't understand why they haven't released some 4K yet because this is just a beautiful film when it comes to visuals. Really great. When it comes to the story it's not the best film but I think it has grown on me. I still haven't seen the sequel yet. I'm waiting for it to come out on physical media. Then we have Insidious. I was going to watch this last Halloween, but then I chickened out a little bit. It's a very terrifying looking film. It's kind of annoying that this slipcover doesn't go all the way to the top. It only goes like here. Then we have Insidious Chapter 2. Obviously, do need to get around to watching these films. We got the first Conjuring, obviously. Just a proper horror classic. And we got the follow-up Conjuring 2. Obviously, not just the first. And it does get really goofy at the end. But yeah, then we have Annabelle Creation. These are the only Conjuring films that I've got in my collection because I've heard the other Conjuring films are not supposed to be the best. These have really great slipcovers as well. I'm pretty sure these are like exclusive HMV slipcovers. Then we've got a few Christmas films. 4Ks that I got for Christmas last year. We've got a Christmas story in 4K. I got this on Christmas Day. I really love this film. I watched it in Christmas 2021. I didn't get around to watching it in Christmas 2022, but I do want to rewatch it this Christmas. It's a very heartwarming, funny Christmas film. I'm glad I got it in 4K. And then we got Alf. I did watch this on 4K last year. I had a good time with it. It's a really iconic Christmas film. Will Ferrell is a great performance as Buddy, even though it's a little bit two and one get points but then we have men in black on 4k an iconic sci-fi film i still need to be watch this on 4k they've got men in black 2 which is not great but i kind of wanted to complete the trilogy so i brought this i accidentally like scratched the slip cover with my scissors when i was opening it which is really awful and then you've got men in black 3 i really actually like this film i think it's a really great closer to the trilogy josh brolin just does a great job at playing like a younger tommy lee jones it's a really fun film then we have flash gordon on 4k still haven't watched this obviously 
music by Queen. I still need to watch this. It's supposed to be like a proper cheesy, campy 80s film. And then obviously you have to put this with Highlander, which is obviously another film with a Queen soundtrack. I really had a good time with this. Proper 80s, proper fun. I still have yet to watch this on 4K. I had this on Blu-ray before, but I sold it and brought the 4K. Then we have a few X-Men stuff here. We've got the Wolverine Unleashed Extended Edition. This is a Blu-ray exclusive, I think, which is a shame because the extended version really makes the film a better experience. This has a really great slipcover as well, really nicely embossed. And then it has three discs, the actual cut in 3D, I think, the actual cut on Blu-ray and the extended cut here. I really think this is an underrated film in the X-Men universe. Then we've got X-Men Days of the Future Past, the Rogue cut on Blu-ray. This slipcover isn't the best, it's a bit... Uh, rips but again there's another alternate cut of the film which I think improves on the original cut of the film you got both cuts of the film here and you got special features I do want to own some of the other X-Men films on 4k obviously got the original X-Men trilogy I need to get that on 4k and I want to get first class on 4k I think the rest of the X-Men films I couldn't really care less about apart from I got a few more here I've got Deadpool 1 and 2 on 4k it includes obviously Deadpool 1 and 2 the super duper cut of Deadpool 2 and then you got Deadpool and then you've got Logan which is obviously I think just the best X-Men film it's so great it has so much emotion to it so much weight to it it's just a defining comic book movie this includes the theatrical cut and the noir cut of the film which is a black and white version which was like regraded and everything from scratch which is really interesting I've yet to see that black and white cut of the film it also includes some art cards various photos of Hugh Jackman as Wolverine throughout the years I can't be asked to to look open all of these got a 4k blu-ray and you got the noir cut on 4k as well and then you got a poster here again i can't be asked to open this but it's a nice looking poster and then we've got like the proper big warner brothers box sets starting with an amara am street seven film collection it's a, a really nice box set nice artwork you've got the blu-ray here you've got a booklet here and you've got some art cards as well the shawshank redemption on blu-ray i am debating on whether to sell this or not and change it for the 4k of this film because i do want to own this on 4k but this is a really nice set again really nice artwork and um, wrap around here and then you got the blu-ray booklet and art cards it's pretty much the same for all of these warner brothers sets and here you got gremlins on 4k again pretty much the same 4k booklet and art cards uh, and then here's the wrap around they got the witches on blu-ray i've yet to see this film on blu-ray yet but i've seen this film before it's part of my childhood i watch this all the time on dvd wrap around and very nice back as well and obviously you got the same in eight. and then you got 300 on 4k i'm not the biggest fan of this film i do like zack snyder's directory style for it there's some visually stunning moments in this film but i'm not really that invested in the story again very nice set 4k booklet and art cards here's the wraparounds and then we've got a new addition to the collection which is the green mile on 4k i recently got this like a month ago i've yet to see it yet but i've heard it's a really great film this is by the same director as the shawshank redemption so i do really want to check it out we've got the wraparound here and then again you've got i'll get this out because i haven't showed this before you've got the 4k 4k you've got the blu-ray inside you've got a nice booklet Obviously the art cards, I can't be able to get the art cards out. You can just look them up online, but. Then we move on to proper like Marvel stuff and like superhero stuff. You got a bit of that with the, the X-Men stuff, but. Because we have the Spider-Man Legacy box set. This is the first ever Blu-ray set that I got. It's absolutely beautiful. One of the best sets that I own, I think. I only got it for 20 quid on Amazon, brand new. It was like limited edition, as you can see on here. It's out of like 2,000 copies. You've got uh, the Origins collection, the Sam Raimi trilogy. You got a nice booklet in here with all like information about the films and everything and you got the discs you got spider-man 1 spider-man 2 and spider-man 3 and then you got a nice bonus disc and then you got the same with andrew garfield duology again very nice booklet with some really nice artwork inside and then you got the disc you got men's spider-man 1 Made Spider-Man 2, which is not that great. And they got a bonus disc again. And then you also got a digital code as well. And then obviously you have to follow that up with Into the Spider-Verse. One of my favourite films of all time. The animation of this film is just absolutely phenomenal. The best animation like I've ever seen in a film probably. Looks great on 4K as well. Some nice artwork on the discs. And then we have Bumblebee on 4K. The only Transformers film I own because I've heard the other Transformers films are supposed to be pretty bad. I'm not the biggest fan of Michael Bay as well, so... 
but this one is really great. It adds a lot of like 80s nostalgia. It's very fun. I actually decided to spend the money to buy a foreign copy of this film on 4K to swap out with my UK disc because the UK release is actually censored. I got the uncensored version of this film here on 4K. It was like 15 quid to buy the foreign Blu-ray. Maybe call it a waste of money, but I feel good that I have the uncensored version. And then we move on to all of the DC films. I have, I have a bunch of DC stuff. Here. We've got the original Batman, with some really great artwork, a really fun 80s film. I love Mark Hewitt as Batman. It's a very like dark take on Batman, but also a really fun take. And then we got Batman Returns on 4K, a really great follow-up. I love Catwoman in it, I love the Penguin. I don't own Batman Forever or Batman and Robin because I've heard those films are supposed to be pretty terrible. Um then we've got the Dark Knight trilogy, an iconic trilogy of films. Christopher Nolan, obviously. We want a nice box set with all the Amray cases in there. Then we have Man of Steel on 4K, starting on the DCEU now. I don't really want to get these out. They're just, they're just Amray cases. Then we have Batman v Superman, uh, Dawn of Justice Ultimate Edition. This is the IMAX version of the film. Then we have Wonder Woman on 4K. It's an alright film. The first two acts are pretty great. And then the third acts not the best. And then we have Zack Snyder's Justice League, a really great superhero film. Obviously it is a bit long and there are a lot of scenes that could have been cut but it's really properly epic. I'm not touching the theatrical cut with a 10 foot pole. And we have Aquaman. Oh shoot. Hello. Here we got Aquaman on 4K. Again, like Bumblebee, I brought a foreign copy of this film to swap out the discs because the UK version is censored, which is very annoying. We've got a digital copy of the film here as well, which is nice. But we've got the 4K disc and the Blu-ray disc, foreign copies. Then we've got Shazam. I have yet to watch this on 4K yet. I haven't really watched this since it came out, really. I really need to re-watch it. It's a, a really great film. Probably the best of the DCU. Just a really fun coming-of-age film. Then we have Birds of Prey and the Fabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn. This is a really fun film. It is like a woman Deadpool. I do feel like it's trying to rip off Deadpool and that. I think the style really works. It has a really unique style. And it is pretty fun for the most part. And then you got The Suicide Squad. This is just a great James Gunn film. I really need to rewatch it. It's so fun. I just love this film. The best of the DCU in my opinion. So I've just realised my microphone ran out of battery. So... Yeah, then we obviously have the first season of Peacemaker. I had lots of fun with this series. A great follow-up to the Suicide Squad. This doesn't really come in and stick with it. It comes in like a, a cardboard case thingy. And it comes out like this. Uh, which is a bit weird. And I would like to have this in 4K, but it only has a season in Blu-ray. And here we have Joker. I really do need to rewatch this film as well. It's a great character study film. It's very grounded and realistic. And it's, it's just really great. Then we have... The Batman, great Matt Reeves film, really well directed, the cinematography is phenomenal. And then we have the Sigma male himself, Patrick Bateman, American Psycho. I really want to rewatch this film. I love how it's set in the 80s and I love how it uses 80s music. It also has this like dark style to it. I love the narration aspect. It is it's so great. It's so good, bro. I, I love this song so much. Next we have Jurassic Park trilogy on 4K. I've only watched the first two because I've heard the third one's not supposed to be that great. I might give it a watch later down the line. Pretty nice set as all three films in array cases there. Then we've got Godzilla on 4K. This is another one of the Warner Brothers box sets that I've got up here, but I've decided to keep them separate because I've got them on Monsterverse films here as well, and I want to keep them like together. 4K, booklet, and art cards. I still haven't watched the Monsterverse films yet, I still really need to get onto them. And this film has Brian Cranston in it as well. Then we have Kong Skull Island. This is supposed to be like the best out of the Monsterverse films. As a stacked cast. And then we've got Godzilla King of the Monsters. This is supposed to be like the weakest of the Monsterverse films. Nonetheless, I do want to give it a watch obviously. It's part of the Monsterverse films. And it connects to the next film, Godzilla vs Kong. This is supposed to be like a proper epic showdown between these two beasts. So yeah, I do need to get on these films. And then we've got the James Bond films. We've got Casino Royale. Really great Bond film, really great action film in general. Then we've got Casino Royale. I do think there's a proper big step down from the last film. It is way too short as well. The pace is not the best. Got Skyfall. This is my favourite in the James Bond films. The cinematography is phenomenal. Then we've got Spectre. I think it's just a forgettable film in the James Bond films. And then we got No Time to Die. This really annoys me because the slips aren't matching. Although the slips match. Apart from this one. And then we're finishing off with the Arrow releases. We've got the Hellraiser trilogy. The first three films all nicely in here. The first one is just a horror classic. The second one is a great follow up. The third one, very cheesy but very fun. Then we have Battle Royale. I think this is a great like 
Battle Royale film. It's dark, very gritty. I like where the story goes. We've got a few discs in there. And then finally, we have Robocop on 4K. Still have yet to watch this. We've got a 4K booklet and poster in here. Again, I, I've still yet to watch this. I do want to get on this because it's supposed to be an iconic action 80s film. So yeah, I recently just picked up Taken on Blu-ray. I recorded this video a few weeks ago when I didn't have this Blu-ray. If you liked this video, please leave a like. If you didn't, please leave a dislike. And I'll see you next video.